Ezra Levant here for Rebel News. I am in Vancouver for other business and I had a meeting at the University of British Columbia today and I walked by and one of these US style foreign funded professionally organized pro Hamas protest encampments has popped up in the heart of the university. Now, uh, final exams are over. Most of the students have vacated the university. But uh, behind me, every ragamuffin around, including, I emphasize the professional organizers, there have been, there's a terrorist group called Samidun. It's a pro-Palestinian uh, terrorist group similar to Hamas. It's regarded as a criminal terrorist organization in other countries such as Germany. Because Justin Trudeau is our prime minister, it's not banned here in Canada. And one of the Sammy Dune organizers is behind this. Of course, foreign funding, of course, professional Antifa funding. Um, I tried to talk to some of the folks here. Obviously, as soon as they see a camera, they say, who are you? And they try and block it. I think he's right. It, it, it shows how thin skinned you are. Uh, just like my experience at Columbia and the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City and the experience of my colleagues across the country, these folks really don't have a lot of arguments. They're more cult members who delegate the communicating to the senior organizers, and many of them are professional haters uh, from Antifa or whatnot. As I was walking by, two people just on the street recognized me, partly because I'm wearing a uh, Rebel News shirt, and um, they came up and talked to me. Here, I'll show you how those conversations went. I'm here at UBC with Joe. Hello, hello. So tell me about yourself and uh, what it's like being on campus with the, uh, I don't know, the, the Palestinian protests these days. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a fourth year major in poli so I'm graduating this year. And since October 7th and the horrible massacre of all the Jewish people there, I was actually in, in the kibbutz that got massacred, massacred in um, August in Israel, Karza. And it's just been a, an a environment of intimidation and harassment towards anything that's not um, like matching their views, essentially. Like, it's just been a horrible. They've been like harassing Jewish students, chanting into Fada revolution, calling for basically terrorist acts. And it's just like a horrible environment for campus. And now they've set up this encampment, um, which just will serve to further intimidate Jewish students and those who feel like they need to speak out. Yeah. Are you a student here? Uh, I'm not a student. I'm a parent of a student and I live on campus. Oh yeah. And how do you feel about this uh, encampment here? Well, same as I feel about the rest of the encampments. It's horrifying. It's anarchy. It's hateful. Uh, it's not doing good to anyone. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm appalled that the university is not doing anything like many other universities and I hope they would speak up. Are you Jewish yourself? No, I am not. How do the non-Jewish students feel about this? Like, there's a lot of international students. Are most students here just sort of notes to the grindstone do their studying, or, or is this a political kind of campus? I would say that UBC is kind of a more sciencey campus, so it's a little less um, involved. Most students are notes to the grindstone. We have quite a large like international population that's not as interested in this, but um, so it's a small population on both sides that is doing all the advocacy and political work. I think it's not only anti-Jewish, it's also anti-democracy and anti-free speech. Because, for example, they don't want to have a discussion with us. So whether we are Jewish or not, they are just not open to have a conversation. It's more like a dictatorship, to be honest, like an oppressive kind of thing, pretending to end up using the uh, wokeness. Yeah, I, I just took some pictures and they started to try and block me. I mean, within, within seconds. I, I don't think they, they know a lot. Well, how do you think it's going to end? I mean, I guess final exams, I mean, I don't know how many students are, are on campus right now, but do you think the, do you think this will be a permanent encampment? Uh, I think if the university doesn't take a stand and doesn't kick them out, they will stay as long as they can, just like the, the, the other campuses. Uh, the exams, if I know correctly, ended last week, so there aren't many students here. And they went waited for the nice weather to come camp. Yeah. It's much nicer. Well, that's it. I didn't mean to do any journalism today. I was uh, at UBC for other reasons. And um, I came across another pro-Hamas encampment in the heart of one of the wokest universities in Canada. It's sort of gross. To see more about this or to do something about it, go to our special website, deporthamas.com.